word, my brother. How you feeling, man? Feeling like a rapper. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> feeling, yeah, like a, feeling like an MC is supposed to feel. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's a great segue. <laughs> so listen, like I said, there's a few battle rappers. Let me ask you a question. You're a battle rapper. Yeah. Like every battle rapper is a hip hop dude. No. Explain that to you because the general public would feel, well, how could you not be a rapper and not be involved in hip hop? Because the people, the the definition of rapper changed over the years, right? Okay. When I was growing up and learning what a rapper was or an MC, mm-hmm. it was like the feeling of an MC walking into the room was like the feeling of a UFC fighter walking into the room or like mm-hmm. a boxer. You know what I mean? It was somebody that you respected already without even knowing them. You know what right, I mean? Right, because right. of because of for whatever reason, like you knew they were dangerous on a if you especially if you were a rapper. You th- you thought they was dangerous. You thought they was skilled. You respected them, and it looked it was like somebody that's a master of, of their craft. You know what I mean? Like we could even take it off competitiveness. It could be like a master chess player or something. You know what I mean? Like it was somebody that you knew mastered all the elements of whatever they do, right? Mm-hmm. And now that's not what a rapper is. That's not the that's not the introduction of a rapper anymore. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of these battle rappers that don't write a rhyme unless they got a battle coming up. Mm. Remember, remember when the shit first popped off along with having battles, you would have ciphers, mm. right? Mm. You wonder why that shit don't happen anymore. Yeah. The cypher, the cypher. Sincere, shout out, shout out to sincere ciphers. He be, he be right. having a, hit people up and try to get a cypher together and something like that. But like the, the ones that are, they're the ones that could go up to I-95 and rap for nine minutes. You know what I mean? Like th- th- those are the rappers still left in the culture. To, you know what I mean? Like, and, and there's a there's, there's still a lot of us, but I don't think it's the majority. I mean, there's a lot of people that don't even, like I said, don't even rap unless they got a battle coming up. So they don't even have the basics of rap, like a, like a flow. <laughs> like right. it's to the point to where like when magic came out even though his flow was amazing he was also like yo that's that's a rapper right mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. now it's to the point i rap like that and i get the biggity biggity shit on me <laughs> you know what I mean? the the rapidity rap Rapity like rap. all the exactly. all this shit mm-hmm. yeah all this all this shit gets fucking demonized and it's crazy because it's all about skill you know what i mean so like yeah, that feeling of an MC, like th- there's very rare people, and I felt that about Cole until he apologized, man. All right, so let's let's, let's go ahead. In you, are you past? You're not thirty yet, are you? No, nah. ain't even thirty yet. God damn it, man. Yeah, I'm close. It's I'm close. close. I'm thirty yet. <laughs> so let me ninety four. Yeah, ninety four. So let me ask you this: Your era is it? Do you believe in the big three? Cole, Kendrick, Drake. Um, You're a different dude though, because you got an old soul though, brother. So. That's what I'm saying. Like, a different. I, this, this, this is this is what I say about them. Yeah. yeah, for the last 15 years, if you're just talking logistically, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, they, they, yeah, they the big three. But I always thought one of them was missing something, right? Like, mm. Drake is the closest one to having everything down, but you know that ghostwriting thing kind of like fuck shit up for him right i'll get back i'll get back to that okay with cole and kendrick yeah they were never really battle tested like that for real that's true facts with 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 kendrick he dropped so far that it's like if you need this much time to now granted his albums are always well thought out and shit like that Mm -hmm. but a rapper would look at that as a as like a why do you need that much time i guess like like the, does this not come naturally to you or are you just like dr dre to where you know you just focus on your music so much that it takes a long time like there was that question on him uh but but and then with cole it was like he was kind of behind them until the last three years where he just started mopping everybody up on these features so i always felt like yeah they did they the big three but as a rapper there's some part of them that I feel like 
you know, would be different. Now, with the Drake ghostwriting thing, right? Like, if if somebody ghostwrites them songs where he sings, I don't care. Like, that's a, that people always have this debate, like, oh, why is ghostwriters and rap a bad thing, but it's not bad with singing? I always say, think about how you could prove your talent. Okay. If your cousin, if your cousin come up to you and says, "Yo, I could sing," they could sing a Beyonce song and prove they could sing. But if somebody says, "Yo, I could rap," and they start rapping a rock him verse, that doesn't mean they could rap, right? Yes, well, it got to, yeah, you, like it got, it got to be, it got to be. Rapping is about the mind and the shit you could come up with and how you manipulate the English language to 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 make it make a verse or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? So that's why you writing your own words is so important when it comes to rap. Now, I don't think Drake had ghostwriters for them timestamp records, them them 6 p.m. in New York and, right. you know, those kind of... If yeah. I found out that shit had a ghostwriter, that shit takes away the credibility. But if somebody ghostwrote, you know, God's plan, that's not the reason why I think he's one of the best rappers, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And he's the most battle-tested out of the three. Is that shocking to you that he's more battle tested, being the fact that he's more mainstream than Cole and Kendrick, right? But he's more battle tested than both those brothers put together. I think I think he's more battle tested because it kind of it kind of proves his position in the big three. Okay. You know what I mean? Like who, whoever's number one, I feel like would be the one that's the most battle tested, and it also shows that MC spirit. That as right. much as he makes records with singing and all this other shit, right. that he still has that MC spirit in him. And shit, the fact he fucks with battle rap so much should show that that's a part of his his spirit. You know what I mean? So I know I know that whole thing was like a big stain on him. You know what yeah. I mean? But again, stain. that's 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 why that's why I chose to you know explain the differences. Like the shit that we hear and we're like, yo, this this dude could rap. If that's the shit that was ghostwritten, then it's like a problem. But you know, so if it's, yeah, go ahead. Do me a favor, rank the three for me for you. Rank, rank the three for you, Kendrick Cole and Andre. I mean, uh, Drake. Okay. Drake is probably first, and then Kendrick and Cole. And it's crazy because last week Cole, before this, like that verse from Kendrick. Cole was probably one to me right <laughs> like yo he was rapping at such a hot clip and going crazy and this is this is this is the problem with it right because a lot of people are like you know mental health and he's protecting his shit i'm not mad at him for that mm -hmm. you've been asking for smoke for three years three years you ain't just been rapping and saying i'm the best you been you literally he said it on first person shooter the um the the uh, if you you gonna know that I hit you like caller ID or whatever and all, all these other features I dare somebody to test he me to, to smoke it. for years you've been asking for the smoke He's so the smoke came to your door and it wasn't even the big smoke this is this is this is this is this is my analogy right Kendrick snuff Drake but since Cole was there he jabbed Cole real quick right then Cole. Instead of swinging back, said, hit me again and see what happens <laughs> with that seven-minute drill shit. And then said, yo, I'm sorry for talking to you like that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what happened. And, that, and, and you know what's crazy, bro? Like, I was already right into that seven-minute drill shit, right, the, the second half, because I really liked that beat. I was already right into that, and I'm a, I, I've am been saying f for a while I got a whole bunch of shit coming, so yeah. I'm just trying to have a bunch of content come out, right? Yeah. Um. So I was already writing to it, and and that was the sentiment that I had towards the seven minute drill shit. Everything I don't know if I'm jumping. Tell, mm -hmm. tell me, uh, tell me oh, if I'm jumping or not. Yeah, like good. that. Everything I'm saying in that in that freestyle is how I felt. You you can no longer rap aggressive if you ain't been battle tested. Yeah, you say that. Here's a, a new rule: you can no longer rap aggressive if you ain't been battle tested. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like that. That's that's the biggest problem with this. You asked for the smoke. Right. It came to your door and you crumbled. That's what happened. And I, I think the crazy part about this shit is 
he would have been better if he just didn't release anything. Or don't say nothing. How about that? Don't say nothing. Now, I heard all the theories about maybe he backed out because he knows what's coming and he knows, right. you know, what Drake got or what. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so um, I don't know if that's what it is, but either way, you just stained your – you double stained your career. One, when you got hit in the face, you responded not even swinging. And then two, you apologized for not even swinging two days after. You know what I mean? Like, that's – this this is the problem, right? And 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 this is why my MC spirit comes out when shit like this happens. Like this soft ass generation, and and the the definition of competition when it comes to rap is so skewed, it's ridiculous. Maybe this happened when Fifty and Kanye started talking about the numbers and all of that kind of yes. shit. But okay. that's the that's the only shit. That's the only shit that people compare rappers with. How many records you sold and you know how many streams you got now. That's not the point. The point is skill. That was always the point. That's why when Joe, we just said uh, Joe and his pod, when Joe responded to Jay on a, on a Pump It Up remix, yeah, it, was it was respected. It was respected. It wasn't like, man, who the fuck is up? Maybe there was some people saying who the fuck is Joe Budden and shit, mm-hmm. but the hip hop community was more so like, yeah, that's the energy. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. You, you, I forgot who said it, but they say you said one bar at me, you get seventy five back. You know what I mean? Like that's that's the attitude. I like that. I like that. That, That's the attitude that you're supposed to have with this shit. So like that's why when I see this soft ass, like we're in a generation of of the the participation award. You know what I mean? So where everybody gets a trophy, no matter where you place. So people really don't understand what competition really means. You know what I mean? So. That's why I just had to, and, it, and, and and you could see it. Shout out to all hip hop. They posted, yes, uh, we is. posted my freestyle. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, half of them comments, shout out to everybody supporting me in them comments. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the other half of the comments is a bunch of people with, you know, like 80 followers and shit. But they like, hey. man, who who is this? Who asked for this? Uh, who what do you mean who asked for this? No, nobody. Oh, you, yo, Cole's not gonna respond to you. You think I think they're gonna respond to me? You think that? You think that's why I did it? I'm spe- I'm sharing a perspective of a battle rapper watching this shit. I said that that in a freestyle too. Uh, yeah. Hearing hearing y'all concerned with the this is about your personal business to a battle rapper feels like observing a scrimmage. Like this shit is nothing. Like this is what you're backing out of. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro. That 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 that's my main. Let me give you push back though, because you're a battle rapper, Shane. Right? You're an MC, right? So you play both sides of the spectrum. Is it because you're so battle tested, right? And what you do battle all the time, you gotta say some of the wildest shit to people. You've heard the wildest shit come at you. So is that how you're looking at it also? Because let's be honest, Drake, Kendrick, and Cole, they don't gotta endure the shit that you guys endure when you gotta go up on stage and shit like that. Yeah. If if Kendrick took personal shots that would be different mm-hmm. if, if if kendrick like he said you could hear it in the in the verse he said hey hey let's get it bro just that little part you could tell that's like your boy like hey let's get it bro like what's good like let's yeah. test let's test the pen that like so no it's not a person this ain't beef i hate when people say it's rap beef. beef it's, it's not beef. it's a it's a battle it's a battle so yeah obviously yeah. i know I could stand up there with some shit being said to me and, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that every rapper should know how to do that, but battle rap and rap was never separate to me. Right. Like that was never, that's just one of the elements you got to know how to do as a rapper along with perform and freestyle and make a love song and a club song and rap fast and rap slow, rap with punchlines, tell a story. It's just one of the things you got to do as a rapper. That was never separate to me. You know what I mean? So like, no, I don't, I, I don't, obviously my standard for for mainstream rappers it's not the same as a battle rapper yeah right, that's right. why that's why when the push t drake shit happened i was like all right maybe you know he don't got to tolerate that all the time like we we do maybe maybe that's why it happened and i'm not even faulting him for that yeah it's an l but i'm not even faulting him for not responding and saying yo i ain't going down here but yo they just rapping that's well, drake, it well, drake had a dumpy freestyle right did you like the dumpy freestyle? I thought it was I yeah. Know, I, was I thought it was fine. And then this is another. This is another. Like 
if people had a battle rap perspective on all these battles in the past, like they would understand it better. Like for example, um, you know how in battle rap we got winning in the building and winning on camera, yes, right? Yes, yes. Push the T one in the building. Drake won on camera. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's that's, that's what happened. Okay. Because when 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 you go through the playlist, mm -hmm. you're gonna listen to Duppy and enjoy it a little more than you might with story that well, story added sure. up. Right, right, you know right. what I mean? It's more deep kind of the, the same things, you know. I would I would I would say the same with takeover and not and, and ether. Mm -hmm. I would say not yeah. Nas one in the building. Nas one in the building, but I would now when Takeover comes on, I'm listening to that more than Ether. I think I'm more than Ether, Ether by far, by far, twice. Or like, so. like I'm, I'm that it's a better song, but in the moment, it's just the moment versus longevity. That's what in the building and on camera means, and it's the same thing with with battles. So right now, right. Kendrick is up one zero in the building. Okay, stay, stay, <laughs> so stay, like, stay right there with the one zero, right? So yeah. When you heard Cole's response for Seven Minute Drill, were you one of the people saying it was one o Cole? No, that's why. That's why I wrote, I started writing that night. <laughs> probably I, I right when I found that instrumental because I was like, man, what is this? You know, before what I mean? the, like before the apology you're talking about, right? Before the apology, yeah, that's right. when I wrote this whole freestyle. Like. I hate even calling it a freestyle because again, I'm from the school of where freestyle is off off the dome or whatever. Right. Yo, it's, wait, wait, it's yo, I gotta be honest. We as a hip hop community, we suck. When did the rules <laughs> change to freestyle? Work? Because my era of freestyle is off the top yeah. of the dome. You know what? You know, you know what? Free you 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 know what I heard? Um, I think Royce said it. I forgot who said it. I think it was Royce, but they said the different the the way the word freestyle evolved is like now it's just like a verse like free of a concept like it's it's, okay. it's just something that you just you're just rapping you know what i mean the the shit people do on these funk flex freestyles and shit mm -hmm. like that's what that is it's just like a like a free stream of consciousness you know what I mean? so it, like, when did we change it though it was that is i would i would rather it call it a remix I got an email saying that we want to change the terminology yeah <laughs> to now yeah up in the dome, you know what I mean? So I, I would I would just call it a remix, you know what I mean? Okay. Or something like that. Like okay. that's why even with like the the Jersey State of Mind shit I dropped a yes. couple a uh, couple weeks ago, I didn't call it a freestyle. I just called it Jersey State of Mind. Even though it's it fits all the criteria that nowadays we would label something a freestyle. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But but anyway, yeah. So I wrote I wrote that shit as soon as I got the beat from like it dropping and shit. Right. That's when I thought of them. The, the the most important four bars in this whole shit to me is the um, when I say uh, uh, after I said um, hold on, give me a second. Uh, the warning, the shit that led up to oh, warning yeah, shot. You I got, said you respond to warning shot with a warning shot. Warning See, shot, yeah. So so the so the the whole lead up to that on on what I'm saying like. I'd have been in no, I've been in the moors a lot, whether a stage venue or corner block. Guess the y'all, them sentences is a tourist spot. You playing with this sport we got. Tell me in what shootout you'd ever respond to a warning shot with a warning shot. That's when I thought of that shit because I'm like, and even the next bar, seems y'all don't understand the rules of engagement. Mm -hmm. I guess the standards upheld with with in the game are confused with your favorites. Like you you guys are changing the standards with this shit when it comes to your favorites. No, he got you're supposed to respond. And again, maybe um because I'm from the time when Joe Budden dissed Ransom on Sunday and then Ransom responded on Monday. And you know what I mean? Like, but but the response is a hip hop thing. That's not something that I I'm I'm just not gonna sit by and watch people change the rules of hip hop <laughs> over and over and over and over again. Right, like, right. Well, like, let me ask you, is it because this era is much more friendlier because if you go back to Ransom and Joe Budden, though, real sick, we did see people get hands put on them. This is real street shit, though, brother. That was some real, you know what I mean? Yeah, this yeah. That I'm not, I'm not expecting. That's that's why, you know, it's it's crazy seeing pe all these like hip hop takes that are going around because it's like a lot of people sound like you know, fifty year old suburban <laughs> parents talking about this shit, like. Yo, did you hear about the rap beef with this? No, it's not a beef. For, like, like if you if you a hip hop fan, you know the difference between beef and a battle, bro. Yes. Like, 
There's, well, there's... Yeah. Cole, said, Cole said this. I had Rob Markman on the other day, right? And yeah. we spoke about this a second ago, about the fact that Cole said the culture was looking for blood. Real sick, I'm going to tell you something. I don't believe the culture is looking for blood from Cole coming out. Not, not literally. Not only literally. on record. Not on, record. Only on record. You've been, you been, yo, you've been, it's, you've been rapping about this. If he didn't go on this little three-year run, where he's been destroying everybody and and really been rapping better than everybody Absolutely. he's on a on a on a record with. It, he went on a whole run doing this shit. So now it's like this is what this is that you can't somebody like Cole probably believes in manifesting and shit like that. Mm -hmm. He manifested this energy over the last three years because that's the all the only thing he's been talking about. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's not like. So again, that's the problem with it. If this is J. Cole just doing them concept records and he didn't go on this run and he get right. dissed out of nowhere, right. Right. nobody's tripping at all. Nobody's tripping at all. It's the shit you've been talking that makes it and the shit you've been proving. Because he's been rapping better than everybody. So it's like, oh shit. But, but here we go. When you heard Cole's track, I felt I don't know how you felt about it. I was like, mm -hmm. and I said it's my blog before he apologized. Why does Cole sound so disinterested though? He doesn't even sound like he want to do this. Yeah, he did. He didn't the sound voice, interested. And the friction of his voice, he didn't even yeah. sound like want to get at really Kendrick like that. Yeah, uh, it, like the shit Joe was talking about on his pod, right? With like right. you know that clip that's going everywhere where he's like the tone of this, like that. The only part I feel like he meant was when he said the uh, the bar about. You know, I've been here all these years. I got to the top, and now he wanted with me. Like right. that's the only bar he, he, that he said like he meant it. Everything else, he was just saying like, "You got, you know, your album is this. Your album, right. you could tell he didn't believe that shit." And he took like, it back. He took it back. <laughs> and he took it. And he took it back. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know, man. I just, I, it's not even like I don't even think this is a purist thing. I just think it's like a you can't change the rules thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, there are rules already set in place here. Like, yeah, you can't... I don't care what generation this is. Yeah, like I said, this is the generation of the 12th place trophy. Like, you don't get awarded for, for, for being in... Like, like, no matter what you do, you're getting something out of it. So people, I don't feel like, understand that competitive nature. Like, they don't... They don't like, whatever I have, kids... I want them to lose it shit so they could learn how not to do it again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand why there's this, like, why competition is, like, when, when did the skill of the thing stop mattering? Like, that's, that's the true. thing that matters the most. It's the skill. Who is more skilled? This is why, like, battle, rap, this is why battle rap is so much needed because of what you just yeah. said. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's why I love battle rap. As much as I love hip hop music, but yeah. I love battle rap because of the competitive nature. Y'all give us that, that the hip-hop artists from the underground and the mainstream, especially the underground too. Let's not even get the underground too. They're not really coming out here doing um mixtape joints and coming at people or yeah. everyone's liking each other. Come on, no one say no one's calls himself an MC no more. You don't see niggas saying basically they're better than anybody on wax anymore. Those things, those kind of things are not even talked about on wax. So when I'm seeing people like yourself. Yeah going on it you said something interesting you said who's you viewing as dangerous them scary moves that you make and get you losing your greatness yeah it to me with the 16th is that all drink thing you put in their view 16 scary hours is that a little that, that's nah, right. nah, 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 nah. that's dope that's the hey if you think that's what it was that's what i did you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> scary hours, okay, okay, views. Nah, the, the 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 main point i was making with that is that like for, forget who's entertaining who you viewing is dangerous right like that that's the vibe of mcs that i that that i've really fell in love with hip-hop with bro like that's the shit that like bro when like i don't know how to if i described it right when i said like when somebody walks in the room like and they MC the way that you look at them and you know, the the aura of an MC right. being them. That's why this battle rap shit is so like only the rapper, maybe only the rappers will understand this. But like that that's that's a different kind of energy than today. I don't know how many of these rappers are walking in the room and you feeling like yo, it's tense in the air. I I feel like Ver probably talked about this. Uh, 
uh, when he was describing the ill will shit. I think he said like with him and uh, Young Gill and everybody that was there, I, I heard a clip on Twitter about this. And he was saying something like, you could sense the tension in the air when when, when people are there, that, that and everybody's ready, everybody's locked in, you know what I mean? Like, bruh, like that, that is, that's the amazing part about competition in hip hop. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so let me ask you a question. Do you feel Drake has to respond now? He will. I don't think so there's who a- Who's around here saying that? Some men, I, I, listen, man. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. Who Button also said that he heard through the grapevine that he has sources that told said that Kendrick is still going to respond to Cole, even though Cole waved the white flag. Now, is that bullying real sick that the man has waved the white flag? <laughs> no, because you started it. You okay. can't start it. You can't start it, get hit in the face, and then be like, all right, no more fighting. You started it. You started it. He started it with the whole first person shooter shit. Right, That's right, why right. Kendrick is 1 0. He's responding to the, he's responded. He right. didn't set shit off. He just, he just, y'all was slap boxing and he snuffed somebody. That's all that happened. Like, so, so now you can't be like, all right, that's it. That's it. You started it. I thought like, Kendrick shit was light too. Though. I gotta be honest. I love Kendrick. Yeah, I, I know. I know. But it's one of those things that just, he's, he's winning on camera now too. He won in a building. And now the more time goes along, he's winning on camera. Well, I feel and, before an apology, I felt there's a lot of people that gave Cole one over. From when I read down the timeline, yeah, that was in the building. That, that was, was in the building. building. <laughs> That's in the building. You see what I'm saying? That's in the moment right there. People are just excited because, yo, when's the last time there was this kind of energy in hip hop? When's That's the last time? Been long, brother. That's been like, a while. It's, been a while. it's been a while since, and now it's like, all right, this shit been brewing for ten years. All these subliminals are gone. Yes. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Let's get to it. And then the whole world watching. So him saying anything. Anybody saying 1-0, I feel like, is either super excited or they really fucking with Kendrick. Like Cole that. fans right now, they're not trying to hear nothing, man. If they curse the Cole fans are... <laughs> ha- half, the, half the comments in all hip-hop is Cole fans, bro. <laughs> like, in them all hip-hop comments, bro. Shut like, up, old man. Is... Let's scratch your arrow. He don't got to respond. But, all right, bro. You got it. <laughs> you got it. You got it, bro. You got and, it. That, and honestly, that speaks a lot about this generation's character. Right. If they're look if they're looking at competition like that, like, oh, he don't have to respond. Like, but is, all right. So let's go to the generation word. If this generation that we in hip hop is not battle tested and not, we're not getting those kind of raps anymore, can we blame the, like, the young generation for for not conceding and 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 jacking that because they're not used to hearing shit like that? And it's no, no. There's there's no blame. There's no blame. You could do you could do whatever you want, man. Like. It's just this specific case. Like, yo, if somebody disses Lil Yachty, I'm not going to be surprised if he don't respond. Like, right. nobody, but if somebody disses Joyner Lucas, it's a different now I'm going to be that. like, yeah, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Okay. It's the it's the difference in the MCs. If somebody like, like, and also it's the shit you talk. Like, Lil Yachty's not going around saying I'm the best rapper. Right. I did right. somebody to fuck with me. You know what I mean? So, oh, that's hand. all it is. Oh, on the other hand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but yes. What do you think about his the, the Dreamville artists? What do you think in their heart of hearts? What are they thinking, probably? Because they I don't know. Think they, I don't think they fuck with that shit at all. J- 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 yeah, Jen is crazy. He's, he's crazy. Right. He's he's I forget um what album I heard from him. He had yeah he had maybe seven joints on that shit that I had in rotation. Like he's fire and he's a rapper's rapper. I feel right. from what from what I've seen, mm-hmm. right? So ain't no way I think he I think he was ready. I think he was thinking of bars for Drake and Kendrick. That's the that's the kind of MC he is. You know what I mean? Like so I I, I nah I don't I don't think man I don't know. Look again man, whatever. Cannot- the man said he could not sleep, sir. Over, over, boss. <laughs> You've heard the wildest shit said to you in man. <laughs> but look, it's like have I said before, sleep, right? Battle, sir. Have you lost? Have you, have you ever lost sleep? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> but but see, but see, see what battle rappers do have is we'll have them dreams where we're on stage and we don't got any bars. Mm. You know what I mean? Every battle rapper has.
chapter that comes on here, bro. Be like, did you ever have a dream you forgot your shit or you weren't prepared? Right. Every battle rapper has the dream of you want to stay. I think uh, DNA and Pat Stay, rest in peace, Pat, have an interview on 15 Minutes of Fame about that. Mm. You something, something along the lines that for me, the dream is always like, you know, I'm at the venue. And I'm walking to stay on, on the stage and there's all these big celebrities that, yo, we can't wait to see you, whatever. And I only got one round. I'm like, fuck, I got a three round battle. What am I, what am I gonna do? I start going through my mixtape verses and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, and I think that's because we know how important that shit is and how competitive we are, that our worst nightmare is not being able to compete. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, so like losing sleep over something you said and you put out like and he had what how, how long ago was that two weeks two weeks but like in between it's you weeks. you sat with that shit for two weeks oh man <laughs> like <laughs> but look some people I, are saying it's over for cole i don't believe it's over for him he still makes dope music bruh i don't think it's over for him but i think he stayed his legacy a lot wow like bruh i would this is this is this is this is like when the Wizard of Oz got revealed. You know what I mean? That's 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 what it feels like. Yo, I was bumping his album heavy until he apologized. For them two days, bro, I was I was bumping. Yo, 3001 is amazing. That's my joint right there. That's my that's, joint that's right there. That's my joint. See? That's we, my we, joint we think right the same. Yeah. That's yeah, that's, that shit is crazy. The uh, Crocodile Tears was dope. What else am I fucking with on there? He had a cut sticks and stones was crazy. Like he stones is my second favorite song. Yeah. He yeah. he he got some crazy shit on there. And then the second half of seven minute drill mm. with that beat, I would always skip to that. And that, was that I could do without fever. I could do I could do without fever and a couple of yeah. songs. Yeah. Fever I could do without. I, I like mean, each rock. I wasn't too fan of that. Joke. I actually fuck with that. Hunt, Hunt I mean, Wabbit's inspired really, me. I don't know. Yeah. I really feel that. Okay. You know, you know why else? I listen to music in the gym. So like a okay, beat that's it. knocking is always right, gonna right, get right, me right. when I'm in it. Right. Music is what feelings sound like. Shout out to Joe. That's what he yeah, says. So that's a fact. Yeah, right. your environment right. is gonna determine it. So I don't think it's over for him. It's just you can't listen to them songs anymore and feel the same way. Like that's 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 what people mean. Like, bruh, like how how can I hear you say these bars and still like I can't believe I can't believe it. I can't believe it anymore. Like how? I don't know. Maybe I think the only thing that can help him is if now that he's looking like he's looking sweet, that if somebody else tests his chin and he he actually snuffs him, you know what I mean? Like I think that's the only way that he could get this stone off, this stain off him, so people will know. All right, he stayed out of it because Kendrick's his boy. You know what I mean? I said Royce, right? I said Royce. He said, "What's up, three? I don't want to talk about it, three. I know what you want to talk. About. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it." I said, "Royce, all right." Well, I'll leave it alone, Royce. <laughs> you don't gotta say, you know, you gotta say much. I know RJ Payne, he had words on Twitter about it. Because RJ Payne, RJ Payne is an MC. That's what I'm talking about. You don't like it. He wasn't feeling that though. At all. I heard Simba just dropped something. I ain't get to hear it yet. Too. He did, he did, it was fire. Something. All the rappers, MCs, I know they not feeling that. And MCs, MCs dudes, nah. Uh-uh. Yeah, man. Like, I, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think, I think the only because that's one of the th- the the Thanos stones he don't got. That's one of the one of them that we thought you was about to get, and you don't have it. So that's that's what the stain is. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, even Jay was throwing shots at fucking Blinky Blink, and you know what I mean. M was throwing shots at Benz. M got disc records on Benzino to this day. It, it's up and it's stuck. You know what I'm saying? People. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's Benzino. Yeah, not even not even like a crazy rapper. Dang, Yo, man. he was such a battle rapper. He was battling pop stars. Like, that's like, like so if if the standard of Jay-Z and Eminem and Nas right. is right. that right. battling is part of them being rappers, why would that not be the standard for Drake, Cole, and Kendrick? Because Ten- people say Cole is cut from a different cloth. People say Cole could have rapped in the nineties, early two thousands. So when that was, it, but look, that was a that was a, that was a shock to us after these. That wasn't a shock three years ago. No, it wasn't. Right, right. Agreed. It's a shock now yeah, because yeah. of the last three years. He was rapping with Benny and Joyner and all and smoking, all, all these features, smoking, smoking shit, smoking, 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 smo
So so that's what it is. I mean, like yeah, when he he dropped like the Illuminati and all of that shit, right. like in in to, to what was that twenty thirteen? You know, what I mean, even if he by the time he got the false prophets, like even if even if that era is when you're like, yo, Cole's not gonna nobody would have faulted you. But I had Kendrick yeah. one for a long time, but the last couple of years I thought Cole was just in terms of rapping. I just thought yeah. he was like. You know? you know what's great when I was when I was yeah around in the beginning I definitely had Kendrick as number one mm -hmm. and then when the ghost writing shit first came out with Drake I was like oh he's out of it but then you know you can't deny them them verses when he go when he goes crazy like that right. like that's the that's the top tier rapper kind of thing and you know I was younger so <laughs> I didn't understand Listen, it like that. I hope he drops a diss track at midnight tonight. And he takes so that's, a shot at J. Cole also in the perfect world. I want Drake yeah. to wear everybody. So look, I think Drake has the perfect alley oop right now. You know what I mean? Like okay. he can so 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 again, like a battle is about like where you're trying to take it, right? Mm -hmm. So if if Kendrick threw a jab or they were slap or if J. Cole and them were slap boxing, Kendrick threw a jab. Right. You know, Cole tried and then gave up. Drake could really throw a roundhouse kick right now. You know what I mean? Like he could really he could. fuck shit up because because again, he's the most battle tested. He could make he could make a record like like that being that crazy, like for for, for Kendrick, like and all being played everywhere and all of that. That's, that's never happened. That's like never that. happened to yeah, yeah. Drake's done it before, but that's yeah. never happened to Drake. Yeah. So what kind of mode do you think that puts him in? He's competitive. He's competitive for sure. Hundred percent. He's correct though, real sick. He can't slap box at all. I don't be, think he will. He and, up real sick. This can't be a charged up verse. He nah, I don't think. I think. I think charged up is what like that is. Okay. Like that is Kendrick baiting him. Like that is Kendrick saying, "Like what's up? Hey, hey, let's get it, bro." That's that's what he's saying. You know what I mean? So. So charged up was basically what that is, but he ain't got a reason to do charged up right now. He got he got shots thrown at him. I don't think he is. I think he'll do something like a back to back, and if he does something that is also getting played in the clubs, <laughs> like yeah, that's that's, true, that's gonna that's be true. that's gonna be rough. So that's Tupac levels with hit him up and hail mary and all that. That's true. That's those yeah. Kind of and look, and you got to realize from Drake watching shit like battle rap. I mean, Kendrick, all these rappers watch battle rap, right? But like, I feel like the bars that I've heard from Drake on these diss records are more shit that would work also in a battle rap setting. Not all the bars, mm -hmm. but he has bars that he could say like, uh, um, like when he said, uh, is that a world tour or a girl tour? Okay. This is what she meant. When she told you to open up to her and shit like that, like that's fire. That that yeah. duppy shit wrong. Got your infrared wrong. Now your head in a beam. Got your infrared wrong. Now your head. That's that's shit like that. So he has little shit like that in there where he could be clever and he could talk a lot of shit. But I but he I've could talk like about. Drake, but I, I've always felt like Drake didn't want to smoke with Kendrick. I felt like Kendrick want more smoke with Drake than Drake want smoke with Kendrick. Yeah, I know, but. I think that too because I think Drake always that BT would, cypher thing with, with Kendrick rapping off the shook ones. Beat. Kendrick did control. Kendrick did yeah the yeah, BT yeah. cypher. He did all of that. He did all of that shit. And I feel like Drake was always like, you know, that's 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 Kendrick. I fuck with Kendrick. He's he's dope. There was only like one or two interviews where he said something crazy about Kendrick, right? Or not even crazy, just critiquing him. You know what I mean? So I think that like, bruh, like. I think since he's the most, ba how many battles he got under his belt, bro? He battled Common, yeah, he battled yeah. Meek Mill, he battled Pusha T. Yeah. Like he 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 got some names under. He yeah. ain't responded. He ain't responded to Jodo. You know what I mean? But but see, that's what I think. If Kendrick is smart, that's what Kendrick got. If yeah. Kendrick, because like again, as an MC, I heard Joe say this too. Drake writes quicker than Kendrick, hundred yeah. percent. I think. Drake writes quicker than Kendrick with the quality that he does because he could release an album, hear people talking shit, and then release something a couple days later with six, seven songs on it. 
addressing all the shit like right, that right, scary right. hour shit he did, right? Like mm-hmm. I fucked with that project heavy. You did that that, that yeah, yeah the, the 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 one with uh had the alchemist beats on it and all of that shit. You ain't mm-hmm. fuck with it. I I fucked with it. I thought he was well, rapping I, really yeah, well. I, uh... I, I like I like his rapping on that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, the fact he could do that shows how conditioned he is as a rapper. Mm-hmm. Whereas best bet for Kendrick is to have three in a clip waiting and kind of being like, now, now I think he's probably going to diss him on Friday. He's probably going to diss him on that future shit on Friday. Oh, you know what I mean? Tonight, right? Yeah. I think okay, future okay. dropped tonight. Yeah. Okay, okay. Which means, which means I think Drake probably dropping tomorrow or Saturday. Tomorrow or Saturday, I think. Because apparently it's done, right? This is what these people are saying. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, maybe somebody call Joe and let them know, put it out there. You know, hey, just put it out there that, you know. People people do shit like that. Yeah, right people do time. shit like that all the time. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And, and I hope that's true. I hope it's going on that way. In a bit. And, and I hope Drake does come with a, with a hard track and Kendrick too. I, I, I hope it happens over the weekend because I'm dropping another – Freestyle remix, whatever on Wednesday. So please keep it away from that, bro. Because I, I want that shit. I, that's one of my favorite joints that I'm releasing next week. Okay, you know what I mean, so um, it's another one of them. You really gonna fuck with it too? Okay, you um, see, you're a man of your word. You did say you want to drop more uh, material this year in terms of freestyles and music. You hell yeah, so far you did say that. I, I had I had a bunch in the clip, and what I was trying to do was see if I could instead of. Get I can't work with other people when they edit shit because I'm I'm picky. So people will edit shit, send it back to me, and I'll be like, nah, I don't like this, I don't like this. Right, so right. I just learned how to do the shit myself. You know what I mean? So I'm still learning, so my videos are gonna get better too. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just had to start releasing because I got a project dropping and I'm trying to release that shit before the summer. Okay. And so I just want to get the momentum up for my YouTube and all of that kind of shit. So yeah, I hope it happens over the weekend so that when I drop this shit, you know what I mean? I ain't got, I ain't got to delay it because whenever this, this is the talk of the town. So like whenever this, these diss tracks drop, bro, everything stops. Everything now, stops. now again, like I said, if Kendrick is smart, he's thinking about the long game and he got some in the clip. So whenever Drake drops, he could, he could, uh, he could respond right away. But mm-hmm. I do think Drake also, since he writes quicker, got prepared. You let him get prepared. You know what I mean? You didn't do a... Let's see. Because we'll guess what? If he... Listen, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. If Drake drops this, and we, we're going to wait, me and you're going to come back here and have a discussion about yeah. if it's fire or not, we're going to be the judge, jury, and execution about that. I know. I know. But, but what I'm saying is, right. if they both smart... Okay. If... if if Drake drops, so he's gonna drop after the future joint come out. Cause again, Drake is also responding to future and Rick Ross and every he's responding to a lot of people. Good point. Good point. Good point. He's not he's not only responding to Kendrick, but I think he's gonna have good amount of you know, a good portion of this is for, for each person he gotta now, respond to. Would it shock you if Drake has like a seven minute joint? Like Joe Buddies do back in the rap for like seven minutes and shit like that. It would it would shock me, but I'd be hyped. <laughs> Everybody in seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't I didn't think it was a bad idea. I think I said it. And he was like, yo, what if he just dropped like a, a, a little three, four pack? Just Ooh, dissing I like everybody. That. I like that. I like that. I, like I, like I fuck with that. I fuck with that idea a lot. Me I fuck too. with that idea a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. And 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 it'd be crazy if he drops it the same day Future drop his shit, so that now they okay, compete see, with sales. Now we talking mm-hmm. shit. Now we talking shit. See, I'm a, I'm a battle rapper, so I'm thinking yeah. of all the different ways of absolutely, warfare, right? Absolutely. If I'm Drake, if I'm Drake, what I'm doing is to just get my name on the board. If I'm Drake, I'm dropping today or, or Wednesday. I'm dropping a charged up kind of thing, good enough to be better than like that, but not mm-hmm. my full power that I got in the clip. Right, and right. then I'm letting, and then I'm letting you drop on Friday, and then I'm dropping the same day with the shit that's a haymaker, and now I still got some more shit in the stash. But now I'm now I just beat you like that verse, and I responded to whatever you might have said on the on the second joint. 
You know what I mean? Like, but does Drake get a grace period because he's been touring? I think so. Okay. I think, I think if he wasn't touring, it would be, yo, know, where is it at? Where is it at? You know what I mean? Kind of thing. But again, the rapper, the rapper's got to respond right away. If somebody gets a, if somebody shoots at you, you take your time. It depends. It depends how many people are shooting. I think. So mm -hmm. I think so, so. Maybe actually, I, I maybe I should retract that because it's not only Kendrick dissing him. Everybody was saying, "Yo," and it's crazy because it shows you kind of how fake the industry is when you see how many people that you thought was cool with him. You know, R Ross driving around with it, Travis Scott with what he did, mm -hmm. like telling people to put it on and shit. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, Kendrick Future, he got all these names that he's finding out himself. It's like. Well, maybe, he, maybe, maybe, maybe he knew. Maybe he knew. What did I say about Drake? That all these cats are shooting at one person, though, brother. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That brother. that shows his position in the in the big three. That shows it. Whoever's or, number one, or he's a person that 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 can't get along with certain people. It cannot. Can I go? Well, that yeah. Guy? I mean, I mean, for sure. If, if we if we talking about as a person, then yeah, maybe maybe all that's right. what it is. Maybe. And again, we don't know. And again, maybe that uh, that maybe that's what Pusha was talking about when he said, uh, "Like I'm talking to the character. Let's let's talk about your character." You know, Are what I mean? so Future to really say anything that's really riveting tonight, though, like about Drake, though. I, I rock with Future, but is he? I mean, are we expecting Future to? I mean, the the the, mu the music might be crazy, and I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna spill some tea or something. Yeah, like, that's, that's what probably... I'm saying. He's really gonna take do a track against Drake where everyone. Future is not battle tested either. He's not a, you know what I mean? I don't think Future would ever try to do them diss tracks back and forth. Okay. But I think he's probably still going to have shots in a line here and there. Or I like, you know, when he talks about how fake rappers are, say something to him or something. You know what I mean? Like, and, and the, the problem when your whole rollout is based on a diss is now even your regular bars are going to start getting you know, dissected as to, like, they might be a diss. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't think you. I, I think he's in it because he, he started it with Metro Boom and this shit. You know what I mean? But like, you know, I don't, I don't know. We we gotta see now. I'm I'm hyped for this shit. I'm pretty sure Drake is gonna respond. I'm more hyped to see what happens after, because I do think Kendrick does have to respond. And if, like I said, if he's smart, I don't like what people were saying about him responding in the summer and shit like that. Like you. That's that's not gonna work, in my opinion. You Yo, know what, what, I mean? like, what if Cole pulls a Charlie Clips psych alive? Psych alive. Yo, I thought you know what's crazy? I thought about that. I thought like it just starts shooting at people. Maybe, maybe, maybe because he let it rest for a week. Maybe when he get off tour, because I know he's performing this shit. Maybe he he gonna get off tour, and then that's not gonna sit right with his soul. And then he's gonna do. I don't want to hear a record about him explaining the situation. You know exactly. what I mean? I'm with you on that. I need to, I need to, I need to hear, I need to hear the shit you've been talking about for three years. That's it. That's it. You know what I mean? That's it. So, all right, brother. I guess you play the waiting game and see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, Yo, shout out to everybody that reached out. Shout out to Ice for reaching out. We might, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might, Jersey, we might hear Jersey. that. We Jersey. might hear that on the pod. Let's okay. see what happens. Okay. Um, they love you so up there. Shout out to him. Yeah, I, I haven't talked to them in a while, but I'm I'm seeing that. You know, they what I mean? so like, they yeah, yeah. I, whenever whenever they talk, yeah, 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 for sure. Shout, uh, but yeah, shout out to all his people. He's doing battle rap all the time, so he lets yeah. me know who he's feeling, who's not feeling, and shit like that. Word, word, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, Joe was one of the first people to support me when I started yeah, getting up there. So yeah, I already know. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, shout out to I shout out to all hip hop for supporting my shit. Shout out to you. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Right. And uh yeah, I'm a I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep dropping. I, I might end up doing, you know, shout out to Crooked Eye, do that weekly joint mm. every week, drop drop some shit. I don't hold me to it. I'm not saying no. I will, okay. but maybe at least until I start getting ready to drop this EP. You know are, what I mean? So, are we expecting more people to come out the gate coming at call you feel with the next couple of weeks and the summertime when transpired? <laughs> Battle rappers are loaded. I know y'all about to load up and clip up with cold balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I said I said what I had to say. I'm not okay, I'm not okay. trying to. That's another thing I want to say real quick. Like I, I saw some people commenting this. I didn't do this because I'm looking for clout. Like I don't I don't think I don't I don't I don't I don't think 
Drake, Kendrick, or Cole are going to see this. And even if they do see it, I don't think they're going to respond to it. Right. Like, and they don't need to. This is me as a battle rapper frustrated with hearing all these bad hip-hop takes and me saying what I think about what's it. What's wrong with you in the booth and say how you feel? What's wrong with that? Listen, At all. What 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 happened? What happened to that, bro? You people are soft, like baby. I said, soft suckers, man. God. I said it in and 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 this is the perfect way to Cloud. end this. I I ended the record with, I feel a way as a battle rapper. Y'all trying to cosplay our thing, so don't get in a stage or a ring if you ain't going to swing. Is that easy? Is that easy? <laughs> I just I, I ended it with that. Like there's, I, I don't see anything cloudy about that. You know what I mean? I'm not from that era. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I hate y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I hate y'all. I'm sorry. Everything is not for clout, man. Everything is not yeah. for clout. Y'all gotta for stop sure. that. Brothers do yeah. rap. Why can't they yeah. express themselves? I blog. I express myself with blogs. How I feel about Jake Cole. That ain't for clout. Yeah. I'm a person loves hip hop. I'm looking at Cole like, fam, really? What? What you want? Yeah, yeah, for sure. My brother, I'm gonna look for next week Wednesday, right? Yeah, pretty, uh, unless unless these di diss tracks get in the way, then I'm gonna I'm have to wait. You know what I mean? Because like, you know, I everybody's talking about this. This is this is this is the main event. You know what I mean? So let's let's let this main event happen. So after this main event is probably a better way to say it. Um, and I got some uh, crazy crazy names being thrown at me for battling. So let's see what happens. Mm, okay, okay. Are we gonna see you coming tomorrow? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Bro, I mean, we're in May right now. I mean, we're in May right now. Yes. No, April. April. I'm tripping. April. Excuse me. We're in April. Yeah. Maybe you know, latest, latest July. You know what I oh, mean? That's dope. That's dope. That's but dope. but you'll definitely see me by July for sure. Or URL because they need you right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> man, yeah. shout out the URL, man. Yo, yeah, but but look, but but think about this. Like, I don't know if I'm extending this interview too long, but like, you're good, no, you're good, brother, you family, you good. Yo. I said when I battled Disaster, I said, this is my 18th URL battle. And with all the legends I've seen, I'm going to stand in front of Rock and Nitty before I get to 19. Mm -hmm. So they both busy right now. So I don't want to battle unless I battle one of them first. You know what I mean? So I told you about a Rock to next year. I told you that. I think I could battle Rock in November. You know what I mean? Maybe, oh, maybe battle. Maybe, cool. maybe I could do. All right. So if I, if I'm, being ideal right i got i got i don't even want to say who's being talked about because then it'll like yeah don't spoil it, it. but let's yeah. say somebody somebody crazy in july right um then then let's say i me and nitty in september um i could do uh rock and i no me and nitty in august me and rock in october and then me and verb somewhere in december <laughs> you know what i mean like we could do something like that like so maybe four more, four more battles this year, and I'll be, I'll, Ab, I'll be good. Av told me just last night, you can on my channel. Uh -huh. I interviewed Av last night. He said he is so happy battled you early. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Your man said, "I'm glad I got real sick early when I got him." Av, <laughs> Av was the first. Av was the first one to teach me, like what a what a real like loss felt like. Where I felt like I lost. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you got to realize, me and Chilla had bat one of the battles of the year. Right, like me, me and I thought I beat Jay when I got kicked out of the tournament. Yeah. I know I thought me and Chaos is crazy. I beat B Magic. I beat Mike P. I beat Danny. I beat Arsenal. So I needed to feel that. So shout out to Av. He taught me an important lesson. You know what I mean? You got two losses so, really in your like two clear losses in your, in your resume. I mean two clear ones for sure. I think Giant, so too. Giant and Av, that's it. Yeah, yeah. But you and Pat is debatable. I know someone got Pat. You know, I man, still debatable battle. You know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah. Like, it is a clear win, but those sure. two, right there, you know, but you're, you're, what you though. When I speak to battle rappers, I do interviews all the time, and your name is mentioned. Motherfuckers be like, uh, like Verb knows you're cold. I thought, yeah. I thought Verb, you must sip alone, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Shout, shout, shout out yeah. to you because I always hear you, you know, tossing my name. In no, always, street. you my guy, man. <laughs> my time, man. So, but yeah, so sure. if Drake drops this weekend, I'm gonna hit you up. Know that I'm gonna hit you up. If we hit get to me up. Song, we gotta talk. Let's do you know, you know, whenever you want hip hop talks, just hit Let's me up. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, King, as always, brother. Salute. Thank you. Appreciate oh you. God, Peace. That's my guy, real sick, man.